We begin again where Grunhilda and Orokos have entered the potion shop this time to talk to the person that gave them the poison, I assume. Okay, reason. Yeah. So. I'm just going to let the other do the talking. What does Grunhilda say? Hmm? What does Grunhilda say? To him. Damn. Hey, Oracus, you were back in the potion shop again. You want to see what other fancy tidbits this guy has? Oh my goodness, and look at those horns. This is so pretty. Ah, I just love it. Odds. <clears throat> okay. Maybe. Hmm? You head into the potion shop with... The Orokos, sitting in the bowl that you've made. You, you do realize Orokos does also have horns. Let's see. Hi, Orokos. Do you, do you think this guy might know where we can, uh, where we can find, uh, you know, what's going on in this place? You know. Maybe get some, some sneaky informational tidbits. Bloods. Orpaz does not know. <laughs> you asked. Are you guys going into the potion shop? I thought we were in the potion shop. That's what I said at first, and then I got confused. I guess. Yeah, let's go in. Wow. Hold on, I need to go ask my mom if Jackie or someone is here, because there is someone walking on our roof. RP! Or Cost doesn't talk, though. <laughs> Okay, I am not hearing shit that is Jackie on our roof. I thought that was like someone fucking doing some random shit. Sorry, that was me. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that was just me and Suka. I hope that my microphone is not picking that up. It is very loud. I cannot hear it. Okay, Orokos and Grunhilda walk into the potion shop, and the guy will greet you, and he will say, So, did the poison work? Nah, it's dead. Amazing. Well, uh, you see, he kind of vomited all over those ladies that he was just, it was nasty. That is what it Very is meant to job. do to demons. Well, it did a swell job, you know, you're a fantastic a, a brewer, bruise, bruiseman. You make good stuff. I like it. He, uh, he nods in agreement. I appreciate it. Uh, Grunhilda or Orokos, whoever is uh, looking at him, please roll me a perception check. Okay, we both are. I'll have my light on for this. I'll just, I'll just use my screen. Uh, that is perception. Yeah. That would be a twenty. Dirty twenty. Orokos, <laughs> you noticed something very off about the demon that is standing before you. Something that wasn't there before. Yeah. You can see black veins beginning to approach his neck area. Orokos is going to point <laughs> to, to the veins. The man will say, I cannot see myself. What are you pointing at? Black veins. He looks, he kind of slightly tilts his head. What are you talking about? 
Are there any like like mirrors or anything in here that you can see yourself in? Uh, you could just have a shard of glass that you picked up from your old campaign, I guess. I you have whips bottles. out the shard of glass, <laughs> shows him like like just points the light and gets on it so you can see. He will say, "I don't see anything. Is there a problem?" Hmm. What well, you you know what? Uh, or I I think it looks just fine. Well, uh, as as they do point it out, you do see it. Uh, he, he looks like he might be a little bit sick. Did you eat the soup? You got some weird veinage going on there on your neck. You might need to have that checked out. I I don't understand. What? I see nothing. I feel nothing. You've got nothing. these weird... My, my friend, you, 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 you're not looking so good. You look like you got these... They're like worms almost on your neck. Worms. It's like somebody just took some dye and just went boop right up into your neck veins. And oh, goodness gracious, you really should go see a healer. Healer? There are no healers here. Oh no! It, Grunhilda is going to start getting very visibly agitated. Uh, start fidgeting and just... Hey, ben. Yes. That means. So, uh, Orokos is going to pull out a book of any ailments that would have affected demonic beings if she had or if they had any that would affect divine beings demonic beings demonic beings uh do you actually have one of those they have their collection of books from an ides okay i'll let that slide then um I got some tea because I, I don't have every single book. Like I, I didn't write down every single I thing that they would have. Don't think that that would be in here. However, uh, your training as a paladin is screaming at you that this is not normal. I was about to pray to Hecky, so. Uh. I have detect poison and disease. Is that something that I could use here? Yes, indeed it is. Ooh. I'd recommend using that before I, you know, start calling up a god. <laughs> Alright, so how do I use detect poison? Exclamation point. Cast space detect space poison. Well, you have to type up the whole thing. It's detect Poison and disease. I was really typing out space. It would be. It would just be this. Yeah. Actually, that might work. Yeah, try that. Nice. Well, so if you just put in like detect poison or something, it'll okay. then realize. But this creature is not poisoned, nor does it have a disease. Hmm. Hmm. Rubs chin. Hey, uh, Mr. Mr. Fancy Demon Guy, did you happen to read anything weird lately? Like uh, that fancy book that was outside on the altar. Did I you read that? Read that book. We are allowed to. Interesting. Uh, hmm, what is Orocos? So, Orocos is going to, uh... What can Orocos do here?
Hmm. Hold on. Let me check what I can do. You do have divine sense as well. We are literally in a place full of demons. <laughs> yes, so, but you are also a demon, are you not? Well, they're not necessarily a demon, but demonic in nature. Then you could certainly discern. Okay, then I'll just use divine sense. Uh, that shit evil. Arakas is going to, like, kneel in the general... Wait, okay, H how does one exactly pray to Heki? Uh, the official way to pray to Heki is to hold his symbol. I will hold Heki's symbol to the, uh, directly forward, basically pointing at the, uh, shopkeep, or the brewer, and will, um, ask Heki what is his ailment and how does one fix it? Please roll me a faith check. Which is level, correct? Plus your level, yes. That would be an 18. Heki will reply, the past must happen again. That it? That is all he says. Mm -hmm. As Heki says it, Orokas is going to murmur it under their breath. Rokas will then say, we'll stand, or we'll, yeah, we'll lower the symbol and just say, the past must happen again. The past? He shakes his head. What? That's all that I've been told. From who? Holds up symbol. Tahaki. You called to him and he listened. He always has. The brewer will walk behind the counter and open a secret door. And he will be gone for a moment. And then he will come back with something folded into his hands, wrapped in a uh, yin and yang style fabric. And he will set it on the table. Mm -hmm. The brewer will then open the book. Do you happen to know of Nord the Fall? Thanks, Adam. <laughs> no legends, no nothing. Arokas was not in the party with uh, either of the. No. The, in the storm, so no. Shakes head. Again. This is what he is talking about. If you can truly see them, and we cannot, then Nor the Fall has risen once again. I made that shit. Sorry. A place once ruled by sirens that we demons took over.
an almost heavenly place. Well, so... He thinks for a moment and decides on the word tasteful to us. Mm. But I can assure you this. There are no sirens within the city of Nordafal. They are all dead. Mm. Because if there were some... No. Even just the one. We would be forced to the surface. Opening a rift within time itself. Upon the place of Nor to fall. So, if there was a siren who went to Nordafall, you would all be uprooted. Is what you're saying? No. The demon lord will open a rift. And the veins on our necks will glow. And we will be forced to the surface by the demon lord. Do we perhaps know the alignment of said demon lord? Fucking evil. As I thought. The oh, lord. He was the only one that could actually stand up to the Akais. Well, that is, once fear was in control. And now that we are back, he is also back. Oh, and don't worry about saying that name here. He points to the amber in the room. Mm. What if... Mm. How do I phrase this? What if there wasn't a demon king? There must always be a demon king. Or queen. Or... Whatever. Would you know who would be next to rise in power if the current was to There are fall. three ways of doing that. The Demon Lord's son, who is dead. His daughter, who is on the surface. Hiding within some unknown place that no one knows about. Because the demon lord himself sent her there. Or by killing him. And whoever may slay him may wear the clown. Do you know if the crown has any effect on its wearer? I do. 
and it is not. It is just a simple crown. Trust me, I would know. He will lift up his shirt, and you will see a gash in his stomach. Me. I was the king before him. But he spared me. He will look at the little pixie <clears throat> and he will say, You said your name was Grunhilda, yes? Why, well, yeah, yeah, yes, that, that's me! I'm Grunhilda, it's, a, it's nice to meet ya. And what do you do? I make soup. I make the best soup you've ever had in your life. No, I I, I want to be I want to be a chef one day. I own my own uh, fancy little restaurant and stuff. The yeah, it's simple will, goals. Uh, the man, Winter, are you okay? Your microphone just went weird. It's gonna be pop pop. Okay. Let's get it. In a you, good, there in good. a tunnel. Is it still dying? No, you're good. That's yeah, no, really I'm. Weird, I'm... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um. Anyway, the guy will reach under the counter and he will pull out three magnificent looking flowers. One is a yin and yang styled flower. The second is a beautiful amber flower, but within the center of the, am uh, the amber color is a small, teeny, tiny bit of darkness and within the final one are all of the colors of the rainbow and more and he will slide them across the counter to Grunhilda Grunhilda will take the flowers and clap her hands together in excitement well, yeah, th thank, thank you, my, thank you, friend. Uh, that's uh, very much appreciated. I love these flowers. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness, and the colors. Oh, they are lovely. They are lovely. Be careful with them. Ah. Hey, uh, I, I will do my best. I'm a little bit clumsy at times, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we can. It does not matter if you are clumsy. It is when you use them. Uh, well, uh, d d you seem to know quite a bit about these flowers. How would I use them? Do I put them in a vase? Do, do I, uh, do I make them into something? What do I do? He smiles. I have no idea. That's, uh, that's okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, perhaps I'll come back when I, when, you know what I know and I'll, I'll tell ya. The only that thing voice that I not know, heard? and he will pull out three more, is that they replicate. Once you use one, another one will randomly appear. In two days. You know, that's pretty nifty right there. And Grunhilda will then start coughing uncontrollably and just uh, oh, look away and tuck the flowers into her pouch. Zuko, does that voice not hurt? It does a little bit. <laughs> but it's worth it for the bit because it's hilarious. <laughs> if you ever don't want to do the voice, I'm sure Orokas has effects. If you ever need it. I'm dying. <laughs> oh no. I love that character so much. <laughs> You I must have eaten it, the soup. I love Grenhilda. Grenhilda is fucking amazing. Thank you. And I will Thank fight you. people on that. No, I have the context of the soup, and it's freaking <laughs> glorious. And, and by the way, Grenhilda has a magic ladle. 
the magic ladle. Yeah, yeah, the magic ladle. Oh my. <laughs> and it does how much damage again? 2d6 plus 12. Yeah, Ow. 2d6 plus 12 ladle damage. Holy, holy bunk. It is a 12 item ladle that Winter rolled. Yep. Nice. Use the DM dice and everything, because haha funny, have the magic ladle. Jeez, it was really great. super of them to God do. God damn it. <laughs> Not the soup puns, anything but the soup puns! Yeah, puns. <laughs> Don't ah. worry, I've got plenty of puns in stock. Oh god. Ah, ah, ah. Hilda needs to say some of these. You know what? Hey, uh, Mr. Demon Guy, you know, you're really, you're really super! I, I appreciate the flowers and everything you've done for us while we're here. I hope you, uh, you know, your, your belly wound, I hope it heals up for you. It doesn't get in. You know, those can be really nasty. I know a guy, he got, he got stabbed in the gut, and it just kind of... Well, it was messy, to say the least. He, you really might want to get it looked at. You know, every time that I hear a soup pun in character, I'm just going to start adding 10 entropy. <laughs> oh. But not, entropy. I'm not actually doing that. It's just... All right, good. Otherwise, I was going to have to have a problem. Oh, fucking hell. For every soup pun, the DM adds another die to the death roll. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. Wait, hey, Ben. Oh. Worth it. You want to make an agreement? What? Every time, actually, hold on. I'll, I'll I'll DM it to you. Also, don't worry about what entropy is. It is a special thing for me and the other DMs. Gotcha. Um. Anyway, the brewer will wave at you and say good luck at the demon lord palace. Do you accept the offer? Hold on, I need my phone, and I don't happen to know where it went. I you ate it. Yes, obviously. You're sitting on it, just like the TV remote. I still remember that. Give me just a second. Absolutely not. No. Okay, okay, okay. Well then, okay, what if we change it to ten of both? No. Stop. Fine, what about one of both? No. Point two of both? Shut up. Please? Continue session. Uh, one of whatever it is? Okay. Aha. Anyway... I guess you guys are planning to kill the demon lord. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Uprising! 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 <laughs> now, there are actually a couple of things that you can do. You can actually recruit some demons who may hate I the make demon so lord for their help. You have already recruited one. The potion brewer. Our friend do here. And he will be coming along at some point in time during the battle to help you out. He has given you a blessing as well. Uh, that uh, in character, you don't know what the flowers do. But you know that it is a blessing from your good friend. And you know that you can trust him. So, this is not where I expected uh, Oro Cost to go, but you know what? Not disappointed. <laughs> there are a couple. There are a couple of things that you can do to prepare. Uh, there are a lot 
of RP places within the uh, the major city, but there is something new within the major city that no one has been able to do. Hmm. And that is that there is a statue of Heki in the center of the place that has suddenly been risen up. And somehow everyone knows that there is a secret to it. But no one knows how to do it. Ooh. So, what do you want to do? I think we should go investigate the statue of Hecky. Yeah. All right. Attempting to find out the secrets that hold within the statue of Hecky. You go to the statue and you stand before it. And Oro causes you're even looking at the statue. You can see the power wanting to expand from it. You can feel it. Can I touch the statue? You touch the statue. Congratulations. Yes. I was hoping something would happen. Hmm. Can I... F I would like to fly over the statue to see if I can see anything different from above. Roll me a perception check. Oof. You do not see anything that is abnormal. I go back and land on Orcas's head in the bowl. Hey, yeah, uh, Orcas, I didn't. I, I flew up there. I didn't see anything strange, but uh, you, you might have better luck than me. See this? You, you know, uh, th this is your deity and all that. Uh, you mind checking it out? Uh, give me two moments. Sister is messaging me. Roger that. Um, how tall is the statue? 250 feet tall. Ooh. So... Hmm. Unless you can fly, you are not able to climb it unless you have really good athletics. Ben. Or jump. Orokos has... Let me get the exact number. I think they get a six. Or, I don't remember the exact wingspan, but I have eighty foot fly, fly speed. Then you're fine. If the character sheet would load, apparently not. Or how about I open it in this instead? There we go. Yeah. And Hilda will Maybe. fashion a belt out of Orcas's hair so she does not fall off. <laughs> You are also a pixie and therefore can also fly. Ah. Y yeah. But I'm also semi-lazy. <laughs> Fair enough. Hilda grows lazy. And 
fashions a seatbelt? Um, I'm going to fly to the left eye of the statue. The left eye is color. the The left eyes, or sorry, the left eye, is colored the normal way that it should be. And I believe his left eye is green. Or is it red? Yes. I forget. It's green. I am one of them. Uh, is the uh, like? Is there any kind of indentation that you could put something into? No. Okay. Are there any runes? Yes. Okay, what do they say? If they're in a kind and I do understand them. Do you understand Vasanai? I know the following. Orokin slash Anidian. Ethereal Abyssal and Akkadian. Then you will not understand what it is saying. Of course. Um. Could we carry another, like, smaller demon up there and have them read the runes? If they can read them, sure. Yeah, we also don't know who here could possibly fucking read it. We can ask the potion, the brewer, if, yeah. he, if he could read them. If he was the former demon lord, chances are he would be the best shot at figuring it out. Do or I know, he know he would. if, um, like, like, do I know the name of the language at least? Yeah, it's this, it's, uh, it's Vistanine. I mean, does oral cost? Does like in like in yeah, character? Yeah, you would you would know it. Um, I will go. You know, it's the uh, the old language. Uh, the old language. Oh my god, the old language of a Kai. There we go. I actually anyway, got that out of my mouth. Um, I will head back to the brewer and ask, or I and mean, I will ask uh do you happen to understand... What's the fucking name? Vasanai? Vastanine. Do you understand Vasanine? Fuck no. Good luck finding someone that does. So I'm gonna hold out my holy symbol again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I said okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna say. I'm going to ask Man God Hecky. Um Could you teach me the language of old? Astanain. Base check, I'm assuming. Uh, Give me just a moment. Yeah. And I used guidance to boost his or faith, boost their faith checks. checks are not able to be boosted, sadly. Gotcha. Gotcha. But I do not know if this will require one. Sorry, I am trying. I'm trying to get better with the the pronouns. It's just gonna take me a little bit. Work in progress. Goldfish trying to strike in hard tonight. Suddenly a book will appear in your hand, Orokos. Mm, juicy. I will read its title. The Language of the Old. So I'm assuming I phrased it perfectly. Yep. Fucking called it. Dun, dun, um, dun. I will begin to learn the language. It doesn't take you long since you know Akkadian. Also, also, Some is the, the demon king similar. just? Well, wait, is the demon king just not going to question this? Or the old demon king, as I should say. Oh, he can't see the book. So he's not going to question me having my hands like I'm holding the book? 
I mean, he looks confused, but he doesn't want to say anything because uh, you also outrank him, and he doesn't want to die. Why would I kill him? Uh, not you, the demon lord. <laughs> he has eyes and ears literally everywhere. Wait. Who? Okay, wait, okay. So, okay, who outranks who? Who can who, okay, who is above Oropross? I'll ask that. The Demon King. And only the Demon King? Yes! Okay. <laughs> Are there any candles in this area? Absolutely. Like in the potion shop? Uh, there are many can uh, candles. How many candles can I put out at one switch weird craft? Uh, read the spell. It says... It says I can put out one candle. Is there a candle right next to him? Like, right next to the demon? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes! Good, good. Mm. I can have a plan. Sorry, my microphone apparently does not want to pick me up today. Obviously. For some reason, it is being a literal asshole. Literal, you say? How has your microphone transmuted itself? I don't know, and I'm going to, uh... Anyway, um... Maybe that will help it? I'm not sure. We'll see. You know, we're hearing you fine right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're coming through great. Yeah. Okay. Can I make um, a bet with the brewer? Sure. Oh, oh there goes Crimson. I would like to see. Hey, hey, what's his name again? I don't think he ever told you. Yeah, I don't think we ever asked. Here we go. Hey there, uh, hey, hey, the friend, uh, the, the from, from the Demon Lord, the fa fancy fella. I, uh, real quick, what's your name? I realize we haven't asked yet. You want to know my name? Yes, uh, you know, I, I figured it would be nice to, to know who, uh, who we're talking with here. We're talking with you. Sorry. You kind of seem like maybe a Steve to me, but I don't know I how many demons are say it. Steve. You can't say it. All right. Uh, but how about uh, how about making a bet with me, really quick? Sure. You like bets? What is it? I, I bet that if I can put that candle that's right next to you out without leaving Orcas's head, that you will tell me your name. What do you think of that? I'm just a little pixie. What harm can I do? He will audibly blink and then just say, You can give it a try, I guess. Alright, I would like to cast Druidcraft and use the... The effect of you instantly light or sniff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire to put out the candle next to the demon. You put out the candle, and the demon will look at it, and he will say, Did you use magic? Well, perhaps, but I didn't say what the terms of the bet were. I just said that if I can put it out without moving, the more it has a point. Head. You want <laughs> to know my name so bad that you use magic to put out the candle. Well, it was either that or I just, you know, threw something at it and I didn't want to risk breaking anything in here. Plus, you know, I, I don't feel like moving. It's pretty warm up here. And very soft. 
It is. It's, it's very, very soft, and it kind of smells and like... My soap. name is... And nothing will come out. Uh, another one of these players. Ah. I will call you Void on the count of your name that's coming up blank right there. Does that sound good to you? Because that sounds great to me. She then slaps her knee just like and does kind of a chuckle like a ha ha ha. Sure. You can call me Void. Does Monokai work? He will blink. Mm. And then suddenly, the demon will fall asleep. The fuck? They were speaking in the vague form of that oral kitten that would be spoken aloud. They weren't speaking in any other language. There's no telling what happened. And they didn't like my lap so much they went to sleep. Oh, that's something. Oh, my goodness. No more cast you, you, you think boy is okay. Is he just asleep or? Yes, he is just asleep. You can see him clearly breathing. That breathing doesn't mean that much, Chief. <laughs> We have a floor Do you have a blanket we can use here? Some something something warm. Or something that would fit over the head. How are the black man doing? Huh? Uh, have the veins expanded at all? No. In fact, as he is asleep, they are gone. See, I don't want to wake him up, but I want to wake him up at the same time right now. Before he wakes up, can I check to see what potions are in the, like, on the AKA, counter and around would like, the counter? You would like to be a thief. Possibly. Maybe. There are many potions of healing and other potions that are labeled demon juice. And then mm. one that is clearly labeled literal drugs. I would like to steal the literal drugs. Oh boy. Why are you stealing from the poor land? Can I like lightly smack Granilda's hand? Sure. As she tries to take it. <laughs> Just like a little look. You smack Gr Grunhilda's hand like a child. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Grunhilda just sticks her tongue out of door, Casa just swipes the bottle of drugs and sticks it in her pouch. <laughs> it flies back to the hair hole. <laughs> I'm just gonna, like... <laughs> Minus one respect from Void. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, Shadow of the Colossus reach my hand up there. Because <laughs> the Colossus is six foot taller than the small pixie. Um, gonna just, like, grab the pixie gently and take it. I am holding on to the bottle and just not let it go as so I'm being carried through the air. <laughs> That's big like a strength check to take it. If Grunhilda would like to make a strength if 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 you would both like to do so, then yes, you are allowed to make a strength check opposing each other. Even oh, though no. I'm like two times the size of the <laughs> no, no. Not more. I have a plus two. I'm taking the drugs back. That's a 19. 
You take the drugs back. I put the drugs back where they belong. While Orakas is distracted, I take a bottle of demon juice. I... <laughs> What's my process of protection? Make me a gonna... self check. check. Oh god. Alright, well, I assume I would be actively making sure she wasn't doing anything, so may I make a perception check? Yes, but first I need a stealth check from Grunhilda. Okay, uh, perception. That's a only a plus one, so I only got a 16. <laughs> you clearly notice Grunhilda trying to steal again. I'm going to smack the back of Grunhilda's head. <laughs> The tiny the fairy goes flying. <laughs> Hard. Oh, just, no. just enough to stop her. So you don't go flying. Anyway, you have now <laughs> learned the language required to read the runes. You no, know, just put the demon juice back and take the fairy with me <laughs> forcefully. <laughs> to the, uh, the statue so I can read it. Alright. You go back to the statue and you begin to read the runes within the, uh, the left eye and they read On my left was happiness. On my right was anger and despair. But I only had one when he came into my life. Wait, what does the right eye say? Same thing? Same thing, but opposite. Okay, so starting with the right eye. It's, it, okay, so the right eye says, In my right eye, I have anger okay. and despair. So yeah, it just starts with a different eye. Okay, and yeah. Then that's, that's what it meant. will read, the left eye is for my happiness and gratitude. And I only had one when I was truly alive. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, I'm gonna just, does it say anything else, like, like, on his neck or anything? No. Uh, I just inspect the rest of the statue, or is, does it say anything anywhere else? Make me a perception check or a investigation check of your choice. Uh... Perception or what? Investigation? I have a slightly higher investigation. He's a 17. There are no other markings within the statue. Okay, well there are, we just can't see them. Probably need a nat 20. We promise. No. You passed the check. There are no other markings on the statue. The okay. DC was 15. Wait, if there is nothing on the statue, what would I have not seen? What? The statue. The statue would have disappeared. Yes. What the fuck? Alright. No, uh, okay then. You um, you, uh, you wouldn't have seen, like, the, the smaller details, like the... Like how... How Hecky just looks like he looks like a replica. Like you just got the okay. information that this is an exact replica of Hecky, which you already knew. Okay, so
Hmm. I don't fucking know. God damn it. I don't know what to do next. Alright, well. What were the other trails of shit to do? Orgas, you want to go check out that blacksmith shop again? That we were at before. The blacksmith shop him. is actually closed. I wonder why. I think he may just potentially be kind of dead, y'all. Ooh. Remember, said it was all already his time soon. Yeah, but I would think that somebody else would have taken it over. No. Nope. Hmm. He didn't think. have any children. Oh, damn. I see no way to with this. Hmm. Orokos, do you begin to walk away from the statue? Sure, it's the only thing I can, though. Your symbol begins to glow. By walking away? Yes. Okay, does it glow any more than one di in, in one direction than another? Yes, in fact it does. Okay, I'm assuming I need to go south? Actually, east. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna go east. As you walk towards the east, away from the city, around... A thousand feet away, out of eyesight, from anywhere within the city, is a cave. And on, and within the cave, there is a door where a symbol of Hecky could be placed. Fuck, okay, I want to put my symbol in it. <laughs> the door begins to crumble open. And inside, yeah. is a portal. Ew, I'm assuming nowhere to fall. No. Oh, okay. hey. Mm -hmm. Grunhilda straps herself in. Hey, Orokas, do you see that it's a portal? Do I know where it goes through? No. Hmm. And I look for clues. Yeah, the are there any rooms? The only thing that is in the room is the portal. No hints. No nothing. Only trust. I will undo the little seatbelt that I fashioned out of Orakasa's hair and fly through the portal. I wouldn't want to go through, so. Damn. I'll just follow. <laughs> and this is where I have to mute YouTube.
That was awesome. Yes. Yes. Very, very good. Is Orokas still glowing? No. Okay. Hey, I am normalified. Hmm. As normal as Oral Toss can get. But instead of the symbol of Heki standing or sitting in Oracos's hand, instead there sits a different symbol with more importance than that. A symbol of the Twelve. Ooh. However, you do still have your Heki symbol. Okay, I was about to say, uh... Runehilda returns to the bowl. Uh, I, I say let's go to the statue. As you walk to the statue, instead of the statue stands the man himself. Ooh. 20 foot tall! Or 240 foot tall, or normal sized? Normal sized. Okay. But it seems that no one else is around him. Not even the demons. As Nito Spurito. Appears. Uh, Please take a you're look not streaming. at the d pictures. Oh, okay. I was about to say, uh, you ain't streaming. Our Lord and the Mass, Hecky. I'm joking. Hecky is amazing. Hmm. I'm going to save this asshole eventually. You cannot stop me then. I was about to say asshole jokingly. I hope you know. What do you do? Ow, what the fuck? What else would I do? My god just appeared in front of me. As you bow before Heki, he will step down from the pedestal and raise your chin up. Mm. And then he will smile. It is very weird to see you here. Mm. And I do not even know how I got here. And he will look at the tiny pixie. But I know that both of you are important to a story that's hasn't been told yet. In billions, if not trillions of years. A story where they actually come out on top. And he will look at the Orokin, and he will say, Now I know who you are, but who are you, Pixie? Grunhilda stands up and says, Oh, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, my name is Grunhilda! Grunhilda, it's a pleasure to meet you! Oh, goodness gracious, you, you're really important. Oh, snap. I'm sorry, I just get really nervous. He will touch his finger to your forehead. 
Boop. Oh. And Baby suddenly, Scoot. all of the worries that you once had leave you. Every soup you make is now perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I had Ooh. to. I like that. You are inspired. And inspired? Inspired. You gain inspiration. Yeah. Make extra than soup. Which is for the both of you. Ah. Okay. Go with the bus. Uh, scrolls up. I had inspiration. Well, you have two. Okay, bitch. He will this then... be a bad time to make soup? Yes, indeed it would. You make hey. soup in the oral class's hair. They will throw you. No, no. You will not disrespect Hecky. Can I offer Hecky the the multicolored flower from earlier? Sure. He right. snorts it. He snorts. Oh. I'm joking. Oh, I was supposed to go no. <laughs> oh no. Um, Grunhilda takes the multicolored flower that the brewer had given her and holds it out to Hecky. He will take it, and instead of that flower, he will hand you back a 12-colored flower. Oh, but, 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 thank you! Thank you so much! I, I really appreciate this! It's lovely! From one twelve to the next. From one person... To another. And he will softly smile. No matter where you go, both of you are a very strong and powerful person. But sadly, I'm running out of time. He frowns. I wish I could say more, or give you more, or do something more than sit back and watch. But what I can do is give you a gift. And he will throw his hand into a spectral portal and pull out an amulet Yay. and hand it to Grunhilda. Oh. oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Oh my goodness, this is this is so nice! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! I will I will treasure this forever. Grunhilda, when you get to the Demon the King, one. promise me this: call upon my name within the amulet, and something great will happen. But only when the time comes. What he's saying is, don't use it unless you need to. Ah. Roger that. Actually, you don't go, haha, look funny. <laughs> Farewell, torchbearers. And he will vanish. And that's where I'm going to end session. Man, that was good!